Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making pickled dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, okay? Allora, pomodori secchi sottoli. I find it so much easier sometimes to speak Italian. I'm sorry. Okay, so here we go. The first thing I did, I have a four quart saucepan and I have the jar that's a wide mouth and I'm going to be sterilizing in boiling water for at least five minutes. So that takes care of that. Now let's get started with the ingredients. I have two cups of water, two cups of white vinegar, seven ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. I bought these at Whole Foods. I have some green olives, my own homemade uh, dried oregano, four cloves of garlic, and these beautiful capers from the islands of Pantelleria in Sicily. Okay, let's move, her over, let's move over to the stove and let's get started. Yes, let's not forget about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add my water and my white vinegar and bring it to a boil. Let's not forget the teaspoon of salt in it. Okay, here it goes. The mixture is boiling. I'm going to lower the dry tomatoes. You don't want them to cook, but just get soft. So let's bring it back to a boil and then we'll remove them. In the meantime, I also prepared a cookie sheet. You could use uh, paper towels, but I went ahead and used a white kitchen cloth because that's how my grandmother did it and that's how I still like to do it. But these little gestures that you do, uh, that they did, really brings me back to when I was little. And also my mother out of Delhi, so she would make pounds and pounds of this. And it was wonderful because we would sit around the, the work area and stuff the, the tomatoes and talk. So that was a wonderful way to bond and also do something useful. Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, and just a minute, you see, they just need to rehydrate again. So I'm going to remove them. And don't forget this wonderful tool, which is called Avota Pesh. I don't know, I guess a strainer in English. I keep always forgetting that. Now, let's move over to the counter and we'll, I'll show you the next step. Going to lay them flat to dry up, to remove the excess. See, I love them when they're like a pear. So then when you just put the stuffing inside and fold them, that's how we used to do them in Italy. When we put them to dry, we don't, would only cut them, not through, but just halfway. There's a couple couples right here, a couple pairs, and that's what I like, but. I rinsed the capers too, but I want them to dry off. So I'm gonna put them on the corner right here and just stab them a little bit and leave it all to dry. Ready to assemble. I'm gonna get this one that's a couple, una, una, una coppietta. I'm gonna put a pinch of the oregano, couple slices of the garlic, couple, you can be generous with the capiri. I like a lot of them and they also fall out. So what makes it nice is when that happens, then you have the pickled in the oil. And we're gonna slice the olive and just put two slices in, okay? Now this is what you do. You close it, close it like this, and put it at the bottom of your jar. Okay, again, a little pinch of the oregano, the sliced olive, a little bit of the garlic, the beautiful capers, Am I forgetting anything? No. Close it up and the next one goes in. Okay, I'm gonna continue and then we'll add the oil. I did the first layer, so I'm going to add my extra virgin olive oil. Can you do a mixture of sunflower or vegetable and olive oil? Yes, you can, because what happens with the olive oil, when you place it in the fridge, it coagulates, but you could also take it out a couple 
of minutes before you eat it and it melts right away. Now, press it down nicely because you want to make sure that the oil goes everywhere. Okay, so here it goes. See that? Can you see it? Now I'm going to continue on with the next layer. All the tomatoes went in the jar. I had some capers left, so I just put them on the very top. I want you to come closer. I need you to also keep in mind that the tomatoes need to be submerged in the oil. So I'm gonna keep squeezing them down and let the water come up. If maybe I filled it too much, I'll remove one or two to taste them. Uh, and I'm sure they're delicious already. Now, they're not to be eaten immediately. You wanna leave them in. Uh, at least a week or so. Keep them in your fridge. In Italy, we keep them outside, but I feel safer keeping them in the fridge. Um, here they are. They're delicious. They're easy. It's a great uh, something to always have. If you want a quick dinner, you pull out some cheese, some bread, a glass of wine, and some of these tomatoes, and you really have an amazing meal. Well, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching me. Arrivederci. Alla prossima. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.